What is up the Steam blockchain? So today I want to reply to a comment response that I got from Scipio and uh, yeah he wrote this basically. So but what incentives are there to work to add economic value at all when AI powered robots take over tasks? Services can be outsourced to AI. Construction, constructing physical objects can be fully automated as well. Only the raw material costs money. And I wrote basically, I don't think economics will be a big thing in future. Right now, when the rules of your life, I think with perfect global communication happens, the abundance comes with AI. Yeah. So, what are what incentives are there to work to add economic value? at all so the way i see this new economy this new economy or what people are going to do in the future is they're only going to manage their networks they're going to manage their social networks and uh, develop deeper relationships with other people develop deeper trust because there, there's so much work there to be done and the incentives are that when, uh, when we empower human genius, when we're not focused on physical job, when we're not focused on intellect tasks, when we have all the freedom that we want, we really can focus all our effort into develop better trust and relationships. And so we're making this new world where uh, we need to sort of work at the uh, inclusive consciousness aspect where all the man-made uh, structures, let's say nations, let's say companies, uh, all these things that we have invented and uh, even, even things as money. I mean, we have invented these things uh, that we believe this, is ha this has value, so we're going to use it. We're going to realize that, oh my God, we have actually invented a lot of things. And uh, if... Uh, if a new world comes into place, we sort of have to restructure what we're doing. So I think it's going to be all about that humans just manage their networks. Uh, and that it's not going to be about humans adding economic value. They're going to add communication value by sharing a lot of valuable knowledge to their social circle, to their social group. And uh, that becomes the core value that humans share. And the incentive is that if you make a person flower in human genius, that those rays of, of sunshine is, is going to fall upon you as well, uh, uh, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go from empower, let's say, nations or empower companies to basically shift back to the individual and realize wait a sec, if we empower the individual, if we empower human genius, if we empower real human intelligence, and not just the intellect side, then society and everything is going to benefit so much more. And it sort of makes sense in many ways that if we just give a human what they need, uh, so they don't have to panic about housing, about, about food, about all of these things, about transportations, it might sound like it's going to be super expensive uh, to, to offer people these stuff, but stuff is going to zero cost eventually. That means it's not really going to cost that much to provide to provide if, uh, stuff like this to humans. So humans, humans are going to realize that, well, if we just empower humans, if we empower their genius, something amazing is going to flower. Okay, something amazing is going to flower. It can take a long time. And, and that's the thing that the incentives are basically that if we empower human brains, if we invest in um, communication and if we make a person flower, then we really are going to benefit. I mean, that's going to be that's going to be lifetime relationships we're developing, lifetime investments in in other humans and something that maybe we don't consider but the relationships and the connections we do right now on the internet 
and when we trade economic value with other people this might be connections that we're going to have the next 80 years uh, so <laughs> the return on investment with 80 years i mean it's uh it's pretty intense actually so yeah i mean maybe you can call it work in some ways i just see it more as uh a playfulness way of just daily uh, enhancing your way to communicate with other people and have a lot of playfulness at the same time as you share a lot of knowledge and when people can be very playful uh, it's also going to be able be make so to be able to deal with the bigger things in life people need to have an aspect of having a lot of playfulness uh, because there's a lot of big problems or there's a lot of big things happening in the world and uh, there's a lot of serious stuff happening in the world and to be able to deal with those things humans need to practice their ability to also combine that with a lot of playfulness because if they make stuff a lot more playful if they can play uh, if they can laugh enjoy life have joy and stuff like that that's going to make it so they can basically jump into anything in life and uh, explore it uh, much more in depth so that is kind of cool humans for example i think they need to consider well if we are going to have limitless access to to value basically i mean what what is the best thing we can do okay so we're moving up to 10 billion humans okay so and th there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the communication aspect between various people and uh, how you can increase trust uh, this is something that humans are going to invest going to have to invest a lot of time into if we want a kind of cool planet and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what can happen with like what 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 kind of things that can flower out of a human if you empower empower human genius we don't really know because we know that with humans they sort of want to expand humans always want to expand humans have a they always want to grow they always want to be something more like we don't just want something more we want everything right and and that is why we first created physical abundance and that's eventually why we're going to create digital abundance and uh, now it seems like we're going to focus then on human genius abundance. It, it might go many directions. Uh, we might go to other places, other dimensions. I mean, who knows? Uh, who knows what we can do, really? Because it does seem like knowledge is limitless. Uh, that it, That is also sort of expanding. And our ignorance also is limitless. So it's more about becoming uh, explorers. So, the way we have looked at the label work is usually in a physical way or typing something down or going to a place. That's what that sort of um, work paradigm is sort of going to evolve into, let's say, a communication paradigm, uh, which is going to be fascinating to, uh, to see it come out more and more and more and i sort of feel like all humans have this they have this seed let's say uh, where they can basically grow so much in potential i mean they can grow so much and uh, but it's it's all up to the cool thing is that we can't really predict the future because human genius can invent something new one day like randomly and we couldn't predict that and that's the cool thing about the future that that we we don't really know and and that's kind of cool because then we can just focus on uh what is going on today and uh, yeah so i think that many humans in many ways if we would just explore the logic and intellect side then the future would look kind of depressing but if you don't if you do take it like a let's say a closer look at life and if you if a person really used their eyes and 
let's say they look at something and if they just look 10 more seconds or something at an object or something they can see so much more they can have like there, there's so much there uh, on anything that you be attentive to in life that you didn't see it before but if you're a little bit more attentive then you can see it and it, it's so subtle that a lot of people miss that but you realize that human consciousness can basically dive deep into into anything and that that it really can be a, an enjoyable experience because you're diving deeper into something that probably not that many people have been very attentive to so you can build life in 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 a direction you can drive energy into a direction and and eventually it's going to yield like if you, if you keep on if you pay attention to something it's going to yield eventually uh so there are many dimensions of intelligence that humans have not explored uh which they will have time to 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 explore and that is going to be pretty epic but yeah my, my answer is basically that the incentives are going to be that like if you have if you make ma many 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 people flower in uh, in human genius that that's going to open up so much more so much more chances for you to basically do have the opportunity to do to do even more cool things and and I talked about it in the past that sort of the money paradigm is sort of going to go away and uh, it's going to be interesting to see it develop uh yeah so we're not gonna be probably not gonna add so much economic value yeah it's probably gonna be automated and uh, ai powered robots they, they surely are coming uh, so it's also gonna be a lot about Yeah, and, and another big incentive is, uh, I mean, if we, if we let's say we put the label work on, let's say we do communication as work, like we build our bigger networks and stuff like that. Okay, so what are the incentives? Well, a big incentive is you're going to get a lot of love in return. Uh, you're going to get a lot of love and devotion in return if you really grow your network, if you really care, if you really listen to other people, if you're really attentive to them, you're going to get so much love in return. and and I mean that is so much better than money. In many ways, that is so much better than money. Uh, in many ways, if if you're highly loved in life, uh, there there really is no tokens at all that can can replace that. So that is a massive incentive, basically, and that is what people are gonna look at in the future. They're gonna look at that as a, a big motivator in life like wow i can get more love i can get more devotions i mean it, it actually is a reality and i feel that yeah it's going to take a lot of time for people to sort of shift from the old paradigm to the new paradigm but technology just because it's, it's an exponential industry it, it can grow very fast the stuff can change very fast i can see in my social group uh the people are learning stuff exponentially faster every month and it's extremely interesting to see to be honest it is so cool so yeah great great comment here uh from scipio uh, to summarize uh, i don't think humans are really going to add that much economic value but they're going to add trust value communication value love value devotion value and uh, rent value share value and that is really really exponential value uh, if you add all those up so that is sort of cool like that's just really really cool and if you look at the, the economic side it's really fascinating i mean if we can build houses if we can build super small houses with like heating uh and, and that people can rent them uh that would be so cool man like that would be really really cool uh we can change stuff that we have built like we had this idea that we needed apartments with a lot of physical space but do we really need that like do, can we like can, instead of doing one big apartment that's expensive maybe we can make 100 homes instead 
on the same, you know, surface, basically. I think it can be done. I don't, you know, it's like, for sure it can be done. So, yeah, it's fascinating, to be honest. The future is fascinating. So, I wanted to do a quick video response here. Hopefully people enjoyed. Thanks, uh, thanks Scipio, for the, the comment. And, uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone, on the Steam blockchain. Bye-bye.